Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ofnix YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn to find the probability of dependent events. But first, let us have a review on the probability on independent events. A bag contains 5 blue balls, 3 green balls, and 2 white balls. Two marbles are drawn with replacement. Find the probability that the first ball is blue and the second ball is green. The probability of picking a blue and a green ball is given by the probability of picking a blue times the probability of picking a green. The probability of picking a blue ball can be represented by 5 over 10 since we have 5 blue balls and there is a total of 10 balls inside the bag, which is equal to 1 half. The probability of picking a green ball may be represented as 3 over 10 since we have 3 green balls inside the bag. That is equal to 1 half times 3 over 10 which is equal to 3 over 20. Find the probability of picking 2 cards from a regular deck of cards with replacement such that the first card is a red face card and the second card is an ace. The, the problem will be solved using the formula probability of a red face card times the probability of picking up an ace. The probability of getting a red face card can be represented by 6 over 52 since we have 6 red face cards in a regular deck of cards. 6 over 52 is equal to 3 over 26. While the probability of picking an ace is equal to 4 over 52 or simply 1 over 13. Substituting the given values, the two given values, that is equal to 3 over 26 times 1 over 13 or simply 3 all over 338. Let us now move on in solving the probability of dependent events. Two events may happen at the same time or one after another. Two events are said to be dependent if the occurrence of that of the first event does affect that of the second event. The probability of an event B occurring given that an event A has already occurred in the probability of B given A is given by the formula probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A. Let us have our first example. A bag contains 4 blue balls, 3 green balls, and 6 white balls. Two marbles are drawn without replacement. Find the probability that the first ball is a blue and the second is a white. Take note of the keyword there, without. That means, the first ball drawn will not be returned before picking the second ball. This problem will be solved using probability of blue times the probability of white given blue. The probability of picking a blue ball is equal to 4 all over 13. Since we have 4 blue balls and we have a total of 13 balls inside the bag. While the probability of picking a white given blue is given by 6 over 12. Since we have 6 white balls and we only have 12 balls given that the first ball is drawn. 6 over 12 is equal to 1 half. That is equal to 4 over 13 times 1 half, which is equal to 4 over 26 or simply 2 over 13. A box contains 3 pens, 2 markers, and 1 highlighter. A selects one item at random and does not return it to the box. He then selects a second item at random. What is the probability that A selects one pen and then one marker? This problem can be solved using probability of picking a pen times the probability of picking a marker given a pen. The probability of picking a pen is given by 3 all over 6 since we have 3 pens inside the box. 3 over 6 is equal to 1 half. The probability of picking a marker given a pen 
is equal to 2 over 5. Since we have only two markers and at the same time, there are only five objects after picking the first object. Substituting the results or the probabilities of each individual event, that will be equal to 1 half times 2 over 5 or simply 2 over 10 or 1 fifth. In a shipment of 20 computers, 3 are defective. 3 computers are randomly selected and tested. What is the probability that all 3 are defective if the first and second ones are not replaced after being tested? This problem can be represented as the probability of the defective computer 1 times the probability of defective computer 2 given defective computer 1 times the probability of defective computer 3 given defective computer 2. The first defective computer can be represented by 3 over 20 since we have a total of 3 defectives and a total of 20 computers all in all. The probability of the second defective can be given by 2 over 19. Since the first defective is drawn, there will only be two defective computers and since all in all we have 20 and the first one is picked, therefore, we will only have 19 computers after the first pick. The probability of picking the third defective computer can be represented as 1 over 18. Simply because the first two defective computers are picked in the first and two and second trial. So that will be equal to 3 over 20 times 2 over 19 times 1 over 18, which is equal to 6 all over 6,840 or simply 1 over 1,140. Three cards are chosen at random from a deck of 52 cards without replacement. What is the probability of choosing three aces? The probability in this problem can be represented by probability of card 1 times the probability of an ace card 2 given an ace card 1 times the probability of an ace, the ace card 3 given the ace card 2. The probability of picking the first ace card is equal to 4 over 2, the which is equal to 1 over 13, while the probability of picking the second ace card without replacement can be represented by 3 over 51 or simply 1 over 17. The probability of picking the third ace card is given by 2 over 50 or simply 1 over 25. That is equal to 1 over 13 times 1 over 17 times 1 over 25, which is equal to 1 all over 5,525. A purse contains 4 peso coins, 5 10 peso coins, and 3 1 peso coins. Two coins are selected without the first selection being replaced. Find the probability of picking a 5 peso coin and then a 1 peso coin. This problem can be solved using probability of 5 peso coin times the probability of 1 peso coin given 5 peso coins. The probability of picking a 5 peso coin is given by 4 all over 12. Since there are 4 5 peso coins, and there is a total of 12 coins. 4 over 12 is equal to 1 over 3. The probability of picking a 1 peso coin given a 5 peso coin is given by 3 over 11. So that will be 1 third times 3 all over 11, which is equal to 3 all over 33 or simply 1 over 11. A bag contains 6 red, 5 blue, and 4 yellow marbles. Two marbles are drawn, but the first marble drawn is not replaced. Find the probability of picking a red 
then a blue marble. This problem can be solved given or using the formula probability of a red ball times the probability of a blue ball given a red ball. The probability of a red ball is given by 6 over 15 since we have 6 marbles and there is a total of 15 marbles in the bag. 6 over 15 is equal to 2 over 5. The probability of blue given red is equal to 5 over 14. That is equal to 2 over 5 times 5 over 14, which is equal to 10 over 70 or simply 1 over 7. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. The probability of an event B occurring given that an event A has already occurred in P of B given A is given by the formula probability of A times the probability of B given A. Let us now check your understanding. Try to answer the following problems. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing the activity. Mr. Cinco needs two students to help him with a math demonstration for his class of 18 girls and 14 boys. He randomly chooses one student who comes to the front of the room and then chooses a second student from those still seated. What is the probability that both students chosen are girls? That will be probability of first girl and the probability of the second girl. The problem can be represented by the formula probability of the first girl times the probability of the second girl given the first girl. The probability of picking the first girl is equal to 18 over 32. Since we have 18 girls and there is a total of 32 students inside the room. 18 over 32 is equal to 9 over 16. While the probability of the second girl given the first girl can be represented by 17 over 31. Using the two values, that will be equal to 9 over 16 times 17 over 31, which is equal to 153 over 496. On a math test, 5 out of 20 students got an A. If 3 students are chosen at random without replacement, what is the probability that all 3 got an A on the test? This one can be represented as the probability of student 1, student 2, and student 3 who got an A, which will be solved using the formula probability of student 1 times the probability of student 2 given student 1 times the probability of student 3 given student 2. The probability of the first student is equal to 5 over 20 since there are 5 students who got an A and there is a total of 20 students in the class. So 5 over 20 is equal to 1 fourth. The probability of the second student will be equal to 4 over 19 while the probability of the third student will be equal to 3 over 18. Using the three values, let us apply this in the formula. That will be 1 fourth times 4 over 19 times 1 over 6, which is equal to 4 over 456 or simply 1 over 114. A school survey found that 7 out of 30 students walk to school. If two students are selected at random without replacement, what is the probability that both walk to school? That will be the probability of the first student and the second student who walks to school, which will be represented or which can be represented by probability of the first student times the probability of the second student given the first student. The probability of the first student who walks to school is equal to 7 over 30 since there are 7 students 
who walk to school, and there is a total of 30 students in the survey. The probability of the second student may be represented by 6 all over 29. Using the two values, we will have 7 over 30 times 6 over 29, which is equal to 42 all over 870, or simply 7 over 145. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.